Prince Harry has appeared cocky and confident at times during his return to the UK, but other moments suggest he may be struggling slightly inside, a body language analyst has claimed. The Duke of Sussex is currently in London ahead of an event on Wednesday at St. Paul's Cathedral to mark the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games. Dressed in a grey suit and crisp white shirt on Tuesday, Harry joined Invictus CEO Dominic Reed OBE at the Honourable Artillery Company in London. He was pictured speaking with pikemen and musketeers during the Invictus Games Foundation conversation titled Realising a Global Community. Analyzing the moment, body language expert Judy James said there were some overkill gesticulations in the Duke's mannerisms, suggesting he is struggling. Real reason Harry won't meet Charles laid bare, and it's not a diary clash she said, there are some overkill gesticulations as he presents on stage, using a volley of emphatic hand gestures that mime or illustrate each word to promote the importance of his messages but which can also suggest some nerves. The biggest tell in terms of inner conflict though is his trait of touching his hands together as he walks and holding onto his wedding ring. This is a self-comfort ritual associated with a desire to link with family and friends back at home. She added that Harry generally looked confident as he addressed those around him. James continued, his walk here, direct to camera, looks princely as though he were reviewing the troops and his chin is up and his legs splayed while his eye smile signals some level of delight. His performed hug complete with bicep grabbing makes his reception look fond and welcoming and as he sits on stage his knees are on full splay and his hands form an O-shaped steeple in front of his pelvis. Harry landed in Britain this morning alone and will join wife Meghan in Nigeria later this week. This is the first time Harry has returned to the UK since his rush trip in February, where he visited King Charles after his cancer diagnosis was made public. The two met briefly at Clarence House before Harry jetted back to the US.